Hey, what's up, kids? I am Seth Green. I'm Scott Knightlick from Mattel. And I'm Matthew Sunrise, co-creator of Robot Chicken with this one. And I'm just lucky enough to be uh, sitting here because uh, these guys created their own He-Man figure. And you guys are not going to believe what is about to happen. Uh, for all you fans of Robot Chicken and He-Man, we are going to give you a uh, first time, super exciting opportunity to own a character from Robot Chicken in the He-Man universe. Molar, the attorney and dentist. Molar, attorney and dentist, comes with everything you see here. And the first new He-Man figure in, uh, I think, almost 12 years. <laughs> Who knew? And it's a dentist. <laughs> and it's a dentist. <laughs> The idea of Molar was actually uh, a sketch written by Tom Root, uh, one of our co-head writers. And um, it was pitched in the room, and I think all of us just kind of loved the absurdity. I uh, wrote the Molar sketch. Um, it was uh, season two, Robot Chicken. We hadn't done a lot uh, with He-Man yet, and we are still trying to figure out uh, what was funny about that universe. It was a paragraph. It was a paragraph, and it said, Molar, the attorney and dentist, goes to visit Skeletor, complaining that he's canceled, or that he's not shown up for an appointment, that he breaks in and pulls his tooth out after dispensing with some of his guards, and we're like, perfect. You missed your 1015 appointment. I think, if I'm not mistaken, our uh, other head writer, Doug, uh, hated this sketch originally. <laughs> uh, I am Douglas Goldstein, co-head writer and generally the grumpy guy in the room that hates everything. Oh no, it's Molar, Italian dentist. The whole point was just to point out that he had a silly name, like he's a dentist named Molar. Why don't you just have a, have a handyman called Handor, or a bus driver named Drivor? And I was like, this is ridiculous, you know, I get it. I get what, how they name people in He-Man. Apparently it's done by some four-year-old that accidentally got promoted to be in a board meeting. What about Taylor? The attorney and Taylor. There's nothing else to do with him. If you want to have his brother be um, Proctor and he's a proctologist, we'll have one sketch where he looks beast man up the ass. And then we're done with that character. He's like, you, you get a choice. You get to pick out your fur bikini, and then you have a choice of either like gothic or, or heroic, uh, you know, like chest band. You know, it's like that's pretty much all he's got. Hi, I'm Dan Milano. I play Skeletor on Robot Chicken. And for the ladies, it's a onesie, and you can either wrap it in gold or a serpent. The best part was listening to the voice references and getting the actors to perform as close to what these was guys Was that the first time like. that Dan did Skeletor? I'm a talking skull! What do I care if... Uh, you know what the hell with this? He's a talking skull with a muscular body. So that alone is amazing. That Skeletor's superpower is that he's a skeleton with muscles. Second of all, that his voice is so cartoonily perverse from some lungs and a diaphragm that he's not even supposed to have. None of us remembered Skeletor's voice being quite so ridiculous. And then we watched the cartoon. He was like, man, I'm here. I can't even do it as well as he can. No, he can't. Well, that's why he does it. <laughs> I'm all out of mint flavor. I'm all out of mint flavor. Would like that? My name is Michael Ian Black. I'm an actor. Uh, I'm a voice artist. I was brought in to do an episode of Robot Chicken, which I'd never heard of. We just played uh, Michael, I think, all the different references we had for He-Man type he voices. Yeah. And uh, he's like, so you just want me to do something ridiculous? And we were <laughs> Pretty like, much. yeah, go for it. And he came up with that voice. And uh, <laughs> I don't even remember the voice, so let alone how I came up with it. And when I said, do you even remember what the voice sounded like? He just had no <laughs> recollection of what, what the sketch even was. It's spectacular. <laughs> I'm Molar. Is that right? <laughs> Six that's how I did it? Pretty much. But isn't Molar supposed to be macho? He is just as buff as every other character in the entire He-Man universe. Uh, Molar is probably the most fit dentist ever, too. <laughs> He's just ripped. Have you guys thought about what his loincloth will be? Uh, but it was one of those situations where we literally, uh, as a goof, said maybe we should kind of look into making a toy. And the more we talked about it, we're like, why aren't we doing this? Why not do this? And uh, the idea of Skeletor with a missing tooth. Oh, you son of a bitch! I'm more excited in the design of Molar because he's a character that is proprietary to the show. But of course, I'm, I'm stoked to get my hands on a Skeletor with a missing tooth because it's me! Because yeah, we were just going to do Molar. Well, that was right. the best thing, was sitting yeah. down and talking to you guys and getting everybody in the room, getting the horsemen in the room, and everybody talking about what it would be, talking about packaging and packages. I think you and I said at the same time, got to be a, a con exclusive, just got so excited by it. 
Um, this is when we met at San Diego Comic Con 2009. Yes. We all met together. Right. Um, with the Horsemen. Yeah. And then, yeah, it became had it kind of a summit like to being a two pack. Yeah, yeah, a two pack with DVD content and a bunch of extra stuff. Which we're both such big toy geeks, so it's really exciting to have all of the, the grails of toy collecting integrated into something that, that we're getting to be a part of. And now it gives us the perfect excuse to bring him back. Yeah, no joke. I know. <laughs> he seems like a one-note joke, but you never know. Maybe he'll um, become a lawyer. It's hard to rebrand yourself. Nobody's going to take legal advice from a guy named after a tooth. Um, a Molar sequel. I, don't, I think Molar has ex ex extinguished, no, exceeded? Expended. He has expended his potential. Molar is a dentist. We showed him as a dentist. And scene. Yeah, so you'll, you'll get to watch the sketch again and remember what I can't doing. wait. But in the box, Molar is going to have a pair of pliers with Skeletor's tooth, like he's mm -hmm. yanked it out. Because Molar's a dentist. Yeah. Molar. Right, you said I'll get to watch it again. For the first time. Yes, for have the first time. Have you never ever seen it? I've never seen it. <laughs> we can buy, I'll find it for you on YouTube. <laughs> I've never seen Molar. <laughs> I don't Maybe watch TV. Don't... Yes. Pick him up now at San Diego. You're probably you're you're. Enjoying you won't have this DVD yeah. unless you bought it. <laughs> you obviously own Molar. You're a huge fan. Congratulations on being one of the many. <laughs> <laughs>